Bolton has gone from living the multi-million dollar life of a Hollywood star, bolstered by the genius of her late father, Aaron Spelling, to struggling to find a permanent home for herself and her five children. According to Page Six, Spelling, once a favorite on her dad's 90s hit show Beverly Hills 90210, has been living in cheap motels in a trailer park amid claims she and her estranged husband, Dean McDermott, are completely strapped for cash. A source has claimed the family find themselves broke because of out-of-control spending habits, including staying in expensive rented homes and the mother of five's penchant for shopping, said to be similar to her mother Candy Spellings, who is known for buying up vast collections of dolls and beanie babies. Remembering what a good man he was. Hey, how you doing today? You're looking... I don't know. Their household bills run 100 grand a month, claims the source. There's no end to the spending. In 2016, she had a room stacked to the ceiling with boxes she didn't even open. There were clothes stuffed into the bathroom with price tags still on them. Besides her shopping, there's pet care, hospital stays, private schools, you name it. The house was a pit filled with animals like pigs, snakes and ferrets. It's white trash central. It's been speculated that the now 50-year-old's mother, Candy Spelling, has tried to find a home for her daughter, but so far she's turned them all down. Thank you so much and hope you have a good day. So much, I hurt so bad. I just such a good... Remembering what a good man he was. How are you doing today? Instead, Spelling's current living situation is about as far a cry as anyone might imagine reflecting on the home she grew up in. A 123-room, 150 million United States dollars, 246 million New Zealand dollars mansion in Holmby Hills, California. However, the source has also claimed that all may not be as it seems when it comes to Spelling's present setup. They said Spelling needs storylines, so concocts drama in the hopes of landing another reality TV deal. And, according to the Page Six Insider, it's not the first time she's done it. They believe that Spelling made up the 2013 storyline that her then-husband was having an affair with a 28-year-old woman named Emily Goodhand. So much, I hurt him so bad. And he's just such a good... Remembering what a good man he was. Hey, how you doing today? You're looking... Claims the story had been made up were widely publicized at the time, and Spelling and McDermott used an episode of their show, Tori and Dean, Cabin Fever, to argue that Goodhand did exist, although they never presented any photographic evidence of her. Everything you see is staged by her, the source said. She doesn't exist. They did it for publicity. The two of them fool the media all the time. They construct every story. Everything is a lie. There's no reality to any of it. Tori thinks the poor little rich girl narrative is a good storyline. She thinks she is as talented and inventive as her father. When Spelling's father died in 2006, it is alleged he left his two children, Spelling and her younger brother, Randy, 800,000 United States dollars, 1.3 million New Zealand dollars each. However, the majority of the Melrose Place creators 600 million United States dollars, NC 983 million dollars, fortune was left to his wife. What ensued were years of public feuding between his daughter and his wife as the pair went head to head, slamming each other in their memoirs. That's how we present this content. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. For the support of our viewers, thank you. Okay, well, I mean, have you been in contact? No.